Well, hi guys, it's not that time. It's not our Bible teaching snippet. You'll see I've just changed. I just got through uh, doing my Bible teaching snippet for the day. I had my gray Be Kind t-shirt snippet lady on. And uh, I got undressed, but I this is like the fifth or sixth times I've had people ask me, what do I eat and can I help them? And, I, and instead of me answering this over and over, I'm gonna just record a short little video that kind of helps people. And I am not telling you that I'm the guru and that I know everything. I'm learning as I go, guys, okay? But what I have done is I have created like a photo library of all of the different products that I buy at the grocery store that replaces meat. So I'm on a plant-based diet only. I don't eat any animal meat whatsoever. That will never go in this mouth ever again. Ever, ever, never, never. Uh, and I don't uh, have anything that has milk, eggs, or cheese, or any of that. I don't eat those products, nor do I take anything in that's got it mixed in it. Like, for instance, macaroni and cheese. I don't eat macaroni and cheese with cheese in it, if that makes sense, okay? So, I had, I've had, uh, oh my goodness, I'm getting closer to about 40 people who have taken the Daniel challenge that I put out there a couple of weeks ago where I told people just go completely off animal products, no meat. No, and that's huge because, you know, here in America, it's meat for breakfast, meat for lunch, meat for dinner. It's meat, meat, meat. We eat a lot of meat. And on top of that meat, we got eggs and cheese and milk all mixed in all that. And, um... So it is a different diet, no doubt, but it's not hard. Uh, if it was hard, I probably couldn't do it. But what we, I've had so many people ask me about it, and I have close to 40 people that are privately talking to me about it, asking me about different things. And I want to get on and just tell you a few things that might help you. I've got these photo albums made up, so when you go to the store, you can visually see, okay, this is what it looks like, this is what it looks like. And if it's bad... I don't suggest it. If it's good, I'll suggest it. And it's something that I have personally tried if I share it with you, okay? Uh, you know, they have the plant-based meatless crumbles, which you can make spaghetti and tacos and different things, chili and things like that. And you cannot tell the difference in ground beef versus the plant-based that you're putting in the uh, dish anyway. Okay, the next thing I want to t share with you, uh, so I've got a list of products I'll be happy to share with anybody that wants to know about them. Uh, someone, this asked me just a little bit ago what I eat every morning just to give them an idea of breakfast and lunch and things like that. Let me start by early of the morning when I first wake up. Uh, the first thing that I take in is water. And that's so important. It doesn't seem important, but it's huge, okay? And I, I always drink distilled water, and you can buy it in the jugs at the grocery store or your local place, wherever, Walmart. And it's $89.99 cents a jug. But I also buy it uh, in the case of handheld water, uh, and Aquafina makes that. So I drink water. I keep that by my nightstand, and I usually drink 8 to 10, 12 ounces of water first. Then I'll drink coffee, and usually that 10 ounces of coffee, it'll take me an hour or so to drink that, maybe even longer. Many times I don't even drink the entire 10-ounce cup. Some days I do. But uh, I, then uh, two or three times a week I'll eat oatmeal. Sometimes I don't add fruit to it. Some days I do. Some days I eat, I put two different fruits in it, uh, you know, uh, some of the fruits that I keep handy, I like organic bananas. Uh, organic, if you're going to buy anything organic, let it be your bananas because the banana peels are very uh, soft and it absorbs the chemicals. So if you buy anything organic, let it be the bananas. So bananas are great. Blueberries is probably the best fruit you can eat. Uh, kiwi, blueberries, strawberries. I have all of these fruits in the refrigerator. Uh, I have spinach, all kinds of uh, squash, uh, asparagus, uh, all of the broccoli, cauliflower, and I steam that with a little bit of garlic, and it's really good. But here's another thing I want to talk about. So uh, for breakfast, two or three times a week, the oatmeal. Other days, I just eat fruit, and, and I eat just as much or as little as I want, and I keep plenty of fruit laying around. Now for lunch, uh, many times I'll heat up like a protein bowl or something like that. 
uh, eat a salad or whatever. Here's the thing you don't need to get trapped into believing. You're going to have to live on salads the rest of your life. That's totally not true. But uh, for any of you who want to take the Daniel challenge, the 10-day Daniel challenge of going completely off of animal products, milk, egg, and cheese products, okay? And again, animal products is the meat causes the long-term debil debilitating deadly diseases, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, all of those, okay? It's the milk, egg, and cheese, those byproducts that cause indigestion problems, skin problems, allergies, and all of that, and inflammation. People carry a lot of inflammation, of water weight, and a lot of that is due to the dairy that they're having, okay? So hopefully you can find your right balance. I personally prefer, if you're going to try it, just go 100% in. So whatever is causing your illness or your joint pains, your arthritis, whatever's causing that, you're going to get it all out of your diet because you're going to take away all of the animal products, whether it's the meat or the dairy, eggs, or cheese, okay? Now, you just uh, leave me a comment. Reach out to me on Messenger. I'll do whatever I can to help you in your 10-day challenge so your body can just start screaming out at you saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I needed this. And let your body tell you what helps it and what makes you feel better, okay? I love you, and I will see you here tomorrow. Bye-bye.